So what happened to you too? Is the screen broken on your iPhone SE or 5S? It can get expensive to fix, but it can also be cheap if you do it yourself. And it's not as hard as you may think. First, we need a new display. This cost me around 27 US dollars. Also, we need some special tools. This cost me about 7 US dollars. You'll also need tweezers with small tips. Begin with turning the iPhone off. Also grab something which you can sort the small screws and other parts in. Remove the two screws in the bottom of the phone. Put the screws where you can find them and also remember where they went. When the screws are removed, place the small suction cup on the screen near to the home button. Pull firmly but carefully upwards. Pry up the screen from the rest of the phone with a bending tool. To the left of the lightning port, there is a little groove. Start there and work along the edges. Don't go near the top of the phone. You are now ready to lift up the display a bit, but not far yet. To open it more, we have to disconnect the home button. And to do so, we have to remove the little metal protection. I accidentally disconnected the home button cable at the same time, otherwise that is the next step. When you've done that, you can open the display 90 degrees. The display's connectors is still connected. To disconnect the battery, remove these two screws. To disconnect the display, remove these four screws. Then we come to the step disconnecting the battery which I actually forgot. Make sure you don't forget as well. Disconnect this little connector. Disconnect these three connectors and remove the display. Put the actual phone to the side and focus on the display. Remove these two screws. Now remove this metal thing, but be careful because, well, you get it. And now we want to remove the home button, so remove this screw, then this one, and the last one. Remove this metal tray, and remove the glue on the back side of this little board. Now this you can't really see, but push through the home button from the other side. Remove this screw, this one, remove this one, remove this, then remove this one. Remove the glue on the back side of these cables. Lift up and remove the metal plate. Get your new display. You're done with the old one. Put the metal plate on the new screen. And put in the front camera and the sensors as they were on the old phone. Put back all the other parts, just backwards from before.
and this is when you usually connect the battery again. It's good to start the phone to make sure that the display works. Make sure to connect the home button again. And now we push the display down around all the edges. Put the two screws that goes into the bottom of the phone back. and remove the plastic from the new screen. And now you can get back to using your phone again. I hope this video was helpful. Please check out the other videos on the channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching.